Hey guys, welcome back. If you're here to see more of our adventures, you came to the right place. Today, however, is the last day here at the camp and we are leaving Fort William. If you have been following your previous vlog, you may know that we just hiked the Nevis. If you want to check that out, please click the link. You don't want to miss it. Um, today, we're actually going to Cairngorm Reindeer um, Park. It's where um, uh, we're going to see and feed some reindeers. We are still somewhat recovering from our grueling descent from Ben Nevis, and we thought petting and feeding some reindeers can help. Just a few facts about this place. The herd of reindeers here is the only free-ranging herd in the UK. They are allowed to roam freely in the Cairngorm Mountains and provides a natural habitat for them with the mountainous terrain. They were originally from Sweden and they were brought here to see if they could survive the harsh Scottish environment. Yeah. Reindeers here are left to live their full lives. You, you can come during the summer or winter here. We came on a nice sunny day so are there are less muddy grounds to walk on. I must say, feeding and um, re the reindeers is a lot of fun. If you're thinking of visiting, it's a great day out for your family, especially if you have kids. It is recommended to pre-book if you have not done so to avoid disappointments and a tour guide will collect you from the entrance. And the whole thing lasts for an hour. <laughs> He's so fluffy. Hi guys, so we're here today in the Reindeer Carnegie Park, I believe. So we're here out there today. It's just a chilled out day for us since we've just hiked the Nevis, but we're here. We just fed the reindeers and uh, we just, they're really cute and they we're actually able to approach them and feed them. Um, so far it's been a really chill day and so yeah, we're just enjoying the reindeers around us. This one's a bully. Oh yeah, why is such a bully? They're just in the vlog. I'm still recording. Hello. Aww, weren't they really cute guys? 
we are leaving now and we are going to go for a really long drive all the way to Edinburgh, the capital of Scotland. But before that, we thought of having a quick pit stop to see the Kelpies. I also have a few facts about the Kelpies. They apparently symbolise the mythological water spirits of the Scottish folklore. I believe they inhabit the waters and locks, taking the form of horses. Each Kelpie stands at a height of 30 meters or around 98 feet, and they are entirely made of stainless steel. They also weigh around 300 tons each. They both serve as an installation of arts, featuring Scotland's heritage. One fascinating thing to see is to come here at night to see the illumination, which apparently creates a visualizing striking display. Unfortunately though, we didn't have time to see it. There are also a lot of visitors when we visit, and it's a really popular destination. It's free to roam around, and you can also check out the visitor center to try a nice coffee and to find out more about them. We have just arrived at our final accommodation of our Scotland holiday. We're only here for the weekend now, and we're actually staying at the hostel for our final days. I am actually usually skeptical about hostels, but my boyfriend insists we should at least try them. I must say this one is really very attentive to detail. If you don't mind sharing um, to some strangers, at least. Nevertheless, it's a very nice and comfortable stay. And uh, I thought you've had enough. And as a special treat, here's a little something from my boyfriend. <laughs> We decided to roam the capital at night and explore the area a little bit. We are actually not that far from Edinburgh Castle and we will check that as well in the morning. Right now we actually decided to visit some of the gift shops in the area for a casual fridge magnet and my boyfriend actually even managed to buy one of these cultured whiskey bottles.
Here we definitely need to get something here. Yeah. Fridge magnet. Which one do you think we should get, guys? Careful, there's no um. Now this street here is actually quite interesting. It is said that J.K. Rowling, the author of the Harry Potter books, have thought the first stories of the movie here. We will check out again this place in the morning. And the night wouldn't complete guys if you didn't visit the pub. Yes, it's that time for a nice pint. Though I don't really drink beer, I'll have cider. But my boyfriend and our best friend Pat loves to have a big pint of beer.
Good morning guys, we have a full day today visiting all the things we can see around Edinburgh. But first, let's have some breakfast. Hey guys, so we're here in Edinburgh Castle. Here early in the morning. You can see how it's early in the morning. It's full glory. We're walking around to see the Harry Potter themed, uh, where apparently where JK Rowling's have inspired to write the Harry Potter books. There's too many people today, we're trying to not to get panic attacks, but anyway, we're going to see it. <laughs> I think I saw it here yesterday, there was a sign. Yeah. I, I literally see it. Here we go guys, we are actually going to go inside more of these Harry Potter themed uh, shops around the streets of Edinburgh. Apparently this street around here we are now is quite special because it's thought to be the street where J.K. Rowling, the author of the books, have thought of the first story of that goes into the Harry Potter books. 
you may remember Diagon Alley. Um, we also have a vlog covered for the visiting of the Water Brothers Studios down in London with myself and my boyfriend. I will put a link in the description below if you want to check it out. And we also went to the Jacobite train, uh, the Harry Potter train, uh, where we uh, visit the viaduct where they film the scenes of the movie there. Please check it out. You're gonna see her room, it's full of... <laughs> Cheers for a nice holiday. <laughs> <laughs> 